Boston is the city of champions. In order to be champions, though, we first had to be a city of fighters. It's what makes us. It's what defines us. It's who we are. Maybe it's something in the water. Maybe it's in the blood that runs through our veins. Our DNA makeup. Whatever it is, we're different. We fight for our city. We fight for those around us. We fight for those who came before us. We fight for those who will come after us. In Boston, we fight for what's right. No matter the odds, no matter the circumstances, no matter the outcome, in Boston, we keep fighting. We're the city of champions, all right. And we're soon to add more gold to our championship legacy. Introducing the Fall 2020 cover of Boston Man Magazine, The City of Fighters. Hi everyone, and thank you for coming to our Fall Magazine release event. We are so excited. We have a great night planned for you. Matt, love the costume. You look great. I must have missed the Game of Thrones memo. Well, you kind of got it. I mean, you're dressed as a devil, and as it turns out, uh, Khaleesi did end up turning into the devil. I guess so I was just a few steps ahead of you. It fits. <laughs> but um, at first, we'd like to thank like our uh, host venue tonight. Uh, this is the brand new Ned's Beer Hall. And where we're all sitting, this edition, the two-year anniversary, it is the City of Fighters. And let me tell you something, where we're at right now is where history began, not just for this city, the City of Fighters, the City of Champions, but it began for our country. Like, Leaders, leaders like ourselves, leaders like all of you have sat in these seats or around these seats and they've come up with the same stuff we're doing right now. We're brainstorming, we're leading, we're building community. Uh, we're doing what we can to build a better city, to build a better country. And there couldn't be a better spot for this City of Fighters edition, our two year anniversary issue, um, than right here in historic Faneuil Hall with the opening tonight of Ned's Beer Hall. Yeah, so thank you so much for having us. Yeah, no, two year anniversary, Boston Man Magazine, Legacy Club. Um, it's good to have everyone here tonight. Yes, and just a reminder, please, everyone, you know, this is a global pandemic. Just be be aware of everyone's space, be Very respectful, important. stay in your zones. Um, you know, it's a crazy time. We're excited that we can bring people together for such an awesome event, but please be aware, be safe, um, and hopefully we'll get out of this soon and we can celebrate like normal. Yeah, wear those masks, go into the bathroom, going, if you do move from one section to another, please wear the masks, please be very respectful, six to a section. Um, watch everyone, you know, like be mindful of everyone's space and let's just, um, let's have a nice celebration this evening. But let's get to Here it. Here it is. Let's talk about our fall cover. It's, um, it's a good one. So this is our two year anniversary issue and um, the reason we're all here, um, you guys have all seen the cover. We had a fantastic double cover shoot. Mm -hmm. um, the gentleman right over here, Calvin Cater, Rob Font, Tyson Chartier, the New England cartel. Let's hear it for them, guys. Woo! <laughs> so we were all hand, we were all on hand for this shoot. Um, tell tell us a little bit about your experience with the shoot with the guys. So much fun, you know. We kind of got to that gym early, you know, your typical UFC boxing fighting gym. Um, the guys were such a pleasure to work with. Calvin kind of taught Zoe and I how to. Yeah, you got a little lessons a punch. there. Um, but we were so honored to have him on the cover. Uh, you were throwing a few punches in there as well. I did I did the best I could for what the, like six or seven minutes of cardio that my wind allowed me to. Yep. Um, yep. I had to impress Rob. Uh, Rob Fawn over there too. Big, big, big UFC title elimination fight coming up December 19th. Um, fight, huge fight. Um, make sure you go talk to him or he'll talk with what he can about the fight and stuff. But um, guys, like, let me just tell you something. Like these guys, um, the New England cartel, what they're building, uh, Tyson Chartier, their coach, uh, I go into this in the story a little bit and I actually wrote this story myself. Like yeah. this is the first, this is actually the first cover story that I've wrote for, um, for Boston Man Magazine. And I couldn't be more proud that I did it on these gentlemen right yeah. here. Um, they're building a system. They're building a strong, tight system. And they believe that their system works where they don't have to go off to some super camp or go off and do, um, you know, like travel around the country just to get the proper training or yeah. just to get the coaching that they need. Uh, they do it with their nice tight team right over here. And, and it's working for them. I say this, like guys, I say this, Legacy Club Boston, everyone with every fiber of belief in my body that those two gentlemen right there, Calvin Cater is going to be king of the 145 pound division in the UFC. And Rob Font is going to be king of the 135 pound division in the UFC. So right there, yeah. guys, this is 
This is this article. This is Boston's fifth team. And Boston is, it's the city of fighters. It's the theme of this magazine. Mm -hmm. Boston is the city of champions. And right there, right there is sitting future Boston champions that are going to carry the mantle and carry the pride of this city like all previous, all prior champions in the city have done before. So guys, give it up for the New England cartel. Make sure you read that story. Uh, some of their family members are here tonight too. This isn't just a story about fighting. It's a story about family. It's a story about grit. It's a story about honor. And uh, the New England cartel, Boston's fifth team, uh, they carry all of that with pride. Yep, yep. And we're also so excited because assisting them on the cover, we have Mary Bukavalis and Zoe, uh, her daughter, and I. Mary's awesome. Just, I've known Mary and Zoe since my rookie year on the Patriots cheerleaders. I kind of came in, you know, as a rookie. You don't know anyone. Zoe was a fourth year, so she was my captain. And you're nervous. And within like a week, I had a follow request from Mary Buka uh. and just comments on all my photos. And I'm like, yes, like this is this is what I needed going into this. And just such a wonderful woman, um, diagnosed with ALS recently and. Uh, uh, we just really thought we wanted to honor her with something so special as to be co I, the, the co-cover and co it's um it's it's just amazing so mary and zoe on this cover uh they're actually the first women that we've had on the cover since we had camille yeah and um i know camille Couldn't was be two better very touched well. to, have, to, to to share that honor with um with with zoe and mary and and they think like get getting to know mary is to love her yes like we had uh the photo shoot that we had and we had a very private um I, just a very private intimate loving photo shoot and mary's love her care it was just radiated throughout our entire shoot it was Absolutely. Um, shot by danny direct um amazing makeup job done by uh thea vaporis and it was just a setting with the five of us zoe mary uh thea danny and myself and i, I was holding back tears that yeah. entire shoot it was yeah. just such a loving caring and that's to know mary and that's just the cause, the money that's being raised for ALS through this. Yeah. Um, carrying on the legacy of Pete Frattis as uh, Pete has like, you know, passed this along to Mary. Mm -hmm. And the author of this story is Dave Wedge. Dave Wedge wrote this story, this continuation story on the, um, on Pete Frattis on down on onto Mary and the in the fight against AL and, and the fight to find a cure mm -hmm. for ALS. Yep. And it's just it's just, it's it's an incredible story. Like, you know, we can't wait to share it with all of you guys. You all have it in front of you. Uh, please read this. Uh, you know, please reach out to Zoe. Please reach out to, you know, to any of us. And like, and if you, you know, talk to Mary to tonight, involved. I guarantee you will get a follow request and she will be commenting the most inspirational, positive words under your photos. She is just that amazing person and Zoe is as well. So thank you both of you for, you know, being on the cover as well. We can't wait to share this story. And those fighting lessons that you got from Calvin actually came in very handy because you then had a shoot um, with, we the, did with the brothel. We did, for the sports bras. For the sports bras. Yeah, we had a shoot just a few weeks ago. Uh, Zoe put it together uh, with the label. They teamed up um, and made these incredible sports bras. I'm sure you, if you were at the last event, you saw Alex wearing one. They Safe fight and uh, all the proceeds go to help find a cure for ALS. So it was so much fun. Zoe led the charge and had, you know, four of her girls behind her just in a boxing ring. That image is fighting for featured, ALS. And that image is actually featured for you, in the Mary. magazine. Yes. Um, uh, speaking of Dave Wedge, it's amazing too because. One thing we're trying to do with Boston May Magazine is have our stories kind of lead and bleed into each other. Mm -hmm. um, Dave Wedge is one of the best selling, one of the best authors in Boston. Mm -hmm. um, numerous best selling books. He actually wrote the Ice Bucket Challenge, and he's wrote other books. Um, Boston Strong. Uh, he's written about Whitey Bulger. Uh, he's like numerous, numerous best selling books. Um, and he's also, you know, he's not just an author. He's into movies. He's into film. He's a, he's a producer. We have a feature story on Dave Wedge in this issue as well. And Dave Wedge and his team actually got access to documents, previously unseen documents on the assassination of John Lennon. Uh, he has a book coming out Crazy. in December, The Final Days of John Lennon, which we preview in this magazine right here. But definitely another must read, not gonna wanna miss this in Absolutely. this issue right here. Absolutely. Let's talk about our nonprofits that we featured. It's the core. In this issue. It's, it's the foundation. This is what we're all about. The, Can't forget about it. Let's, Matt, why don't you kick it off? It's the foundation of Boston Bay Magazine. Um, it's everything that we do. Uh, people with like, as the magazine continues to get bigger and bigger, I always get asked, it's just like, oh, Matt, when are you gonna make a political stance on something? And then 
Recently, um, in August, I um, actually, I've, some of you have been seeing, I've been getting more um, involved with what is the true epidemic, the true pandemic in our country, uh, which is child kidnapping and sex trafficking, which is absolutely disgusting, something that nobody even wants to talk about, that it's so horrible. And I've received messages. I did a demonstration with um, these two ladies sitting out back here. Let's hear it for uh, Christina Macris and Jules LaRusso, uh, dressed as the Adams family, actually. Um, <laughs> yeah, you didn't think I was gonna say that. <laughs> But it's, um, anyways, they, so they, we, the three of us, we've recently gotten together, led by, led mostly by the charge of Christina, um, started a new foundation that's featured in this magazine called the Whisper Foundation. And as I was saying, like, people are starting like, oh, Matt, like, you're making a political stand on something. And I'm like, I'm making a political stand on something, like talking about saving children, yeah. like little children. That's, if that's making a political stand, then, well, you know what, fuck it. I guess I'm a politician now, too. <laughs> I, it's, it's, but that's, something very important, please. Um, it is. Take a look through it. I write about this in my publisher's column. I also talk a little bit of that in our publisher's column about the, um, the in our in our dirty old Boston section, we talk about Jimmy Pearsall, who used to play for the Red Sox. And um, October is also Mental Health Awareness Month. And Jimmy Pearsall had such intense pressure to fulfill these expectations that his father had of him that he mentally broke down. Um, he later later turned his playing career or his life into a book and then later a movie called Fear Strikes Out. Uh, we write about that in Dirty Old Boston. And again, this is just all stuff to like create awareness of a lot of these important topics, important topics yeah. that get lost in the shuffle when, you know, what's dominated by the headlines, unfortunately, throughout 2020. Yep. But there's a third story in, um, in Boston Man as well, like the yes. American Cancer yeah, Society. Yeah, the American Cancer Society. Uh, last year at the fall event, um, we had the Miss Pink organization and the uh, American Cancer Society. The real men wear pink. The real men wear pink. And um, Dennis Keeley, uh, last year he raised $25,000 at the real men wear pink and he Fire won Chief. a legacy club membership. Yep. So yep. Um, we were honored to have him. And recently, uh, more importantly, his daughter was diagnosed with breast cancer. So, you know, our thoughts and prayers go out with his family, his daughter, um, but just talking about yeah. that as well, because, you know, that's important, and bringing those people together and making those things aware in the city that when we do that, you know, when it comes back around, his daughter, who is fighting right now for breast cancer, just and really Dennis, goes out to him. And Dennis shares this story and this issue as well. So uh, make sure you read that. Uh, this is all very, very important stuff to keep awareness alive. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, we just got to keep moving forward with, this, with these kinds of stuff. It's what our community is all about. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, another feature in the magazine. I see a lot of you guys have been looking around and you see uh, Miss Amanda Flugrad back here and everyone's just like, oh, is that Amanda from the Celtics? Um, <laughs> Man Amanda from the Celtics. It not, is, by the not, way. Not, not, Aman Amanda. Not, not Amanda from the New York Jets. So let's make sure that's clear. That's Amanda from the Boston Celtics. We'll forget about her previous professional career before she got to Boston. <laughs> that doesn't matter anymore. But, um, but she's featured in a section called Her Page, mm -hmm. uh, which was started by uh, Victoria Nasuti back there. Uh, Everyone, please, like, if you haven't met Victoria, or just give her a round of applause right now. Absolutely. What she's created, it's a section in the magazine, HER is an acronym for Helping Each Other Rise. Um, and in this, Victoria has uh, created this space where she wants, where, where she is, uh, she's interviewing an influential woman in Boston, each issue, and telling their story about how they're balancing multiple careers, multiple challenges, a career with a passion, um, just showing that there's a lot more behind the woman, behind the person than what typically meets the eye. Yes. So um, Victoria has done an amazing job. It's been extremely, um, extremely popular since it come out. Uh, Victoria, I know you you get nomination requests all the time. I'm getting nomination requests all the time. I'm just sending them on over to you so that um, you can like kind of lead the charge in sorting through all of it. Yep. But it's, um, but this is a great, this is a great feature in the magazine, Victoria. Thank you for creating this. Um, and we have actually all three of our first uh, features in her page for the for the initial one I interviewed Victoria so Victoria's here uh, we have Sam, Sam is Ashman. over here um, and Amanda's here so for the first time in the history of Boston in the history of Boston Man magazine we have all three of our her page nomin our all her page features in one building awesome <laughs> so that's awesome great job with all that ladies so her page debuted in the spring and now in the fall we have another new column that we're excited to introduce he's known as Mikey V on air 
And in Boston, man, he is now Mikey V in print. Mikey V, an amazing ambassador throughout the city. Uh, you're going to want to check him out each issue as he just spreads his goodwill. He spreads mm -hmm. it on the airwave. Now he's spreading it um, on the magazine. in the magazine as well. Yeah. Awesome. Uh, another column that we're very, very featured, The Enthusiast, one of our um, most popular columns. Uh, in this issue, Joe Lyons talks about his love affair with music, how he got started. And Joe recently had a YouTube Instagram series where he played unreleased, unreleased material, very rare material from the Notorious B.I.G. And like you guys oh, you are probably love looking him at too. that. <laughs> you love We all love him. Who doesn't love him? <laughs> But it's um, this, and like when I first heard about this, I was like, nah, this can't be real. Like yeah. this, this cannot be real. But uh, read through the pages here, read about Joe's journey in the music industry and uh, how he came across this material. And um, you're, gonna, you're not gonna wanna miss this. It's a great magazine. We have so much coming and we're so excited for everyone to read about it. And then- One more thing. Finally, finally, finally. The theme of this magazine, the city of fighters. We're all fighters in here. We fight for different things. I want to recognize John Higgins over there, one of our Legacy Club members. John and Marlon Kale, another Legacy Club member, have put together the Boston Small Business Support Group, where right now, with all this craziness in the world, community and doing whatever we can to help small businesses stay in business is needed more than ever. And John, Marlon, these two have been fighting for this city, have been fighting for this city since this pandemic broke out and they have unfortunately the the toll of businesses that have gone under or that have like felt the economic pressure it's overwhelming but without the effort of these two and the community around them that would be that impact would be far greater mm -hmm. uh please read this article um the boston small business support group fighting back um and just guys let's please recognize john and marlon everything we're doing All right, do we have that anything? That about wraps it up. Do we have anything to look forward to so, coming? So, you know, with 2020 being a crazy year, we, Matt, teased it at our last event, but you've heard it now. You'll hear it here. 2021 Boston Fashion Gala. First, first annual. First annual. It's going to be such a big event and we can't wait to get into 2021. More details coming, uh, but, but stay tuned and stay excited because what we have cooked up is is gonna be awesome. I know you guys, everyone's been reaching out to you. I've been getting a lot of um, DMs and emails and texts about it. Um, we'll have a lot more details coming. Yep. Andrea is the face of it. I'm just here to support her. <laughs> Stop. It's true. And th we're gonna make this thing, this is gonna be something the city's gonna talk about forever. But, <laughs> Sorry. All right guys, and we're back. everyone be safe, have fun. Um, Enjoy the event Enjoy the and thank evening. you for coming. Thank Happy you for Halloween. coming. Happy Halloween. The King of the North! Yeah!